The American killing of Iranian Major General Qasem Soleimani in Baghdad is bringing threats of continued military reprisals as both sides are airing historic grievances in a feud that dates back decades. First President Trump tweeted about 52 hostages taken in the storming of the U.S. Embassy in 1979, warning that the U.S. will strike 52 sites if Iran retaliates for Soleimani's death. Iranian President Hassan Rouhani responded by invoking the deaths of 290 people killed when a U.S. naval crew shot down an Iranian airliner in 1988. With Iraqis filling the streets demanding vengeance for Soleimani, Rouhani sent his counter-tweet declaring, never threaten the Iranian nation. The leaders' exchanges reflect generations of hostility. It began in 1953 when the U.S. supported a coup against Prime Minister Mohammad Mossadegh after he nationalized Iran's oil industry. Shah Mohammad Reza, the leader reinstated by the U.S., was later toppled in the 1979 revolution, which saw mobs surging into the American embassy. As a perilous new chapter unfolds, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo scoffed this week at protest over the U.S. attacks and President Trump. He blasted Iran's current supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, for the country's troubles. The real risk to Persian culture does not come from the United States of America. Let me tell you who's done damage to the Persian culture. It's not the United States of America. It's the Ayatollah. But Iranian Foreign Minister Javad Zarif says Soleimani's killing and President Trump's threats are taking things to a dangerous new level. They killed one of our most revered commanders and most senior commanders, and they took responsibility for it. This is state terrorism. This is an act of aggression against Iran. And it amounts to an armed attack against Iran, and we will respond. President Trump says the U.S. drone strike that killed Soleimani will diminish acts of terror by Iranian-backed militias he headed. Today we remember and honor the victims of Soleimani's many atrocities, and we take comfort in knowing that his reign of terror is over. But Soleimani's daughter says things are not over, not now, with Iran promising revenge. Don't think that by assassinating my father, everything is finished. So the bitter U.S.-Iran history continues with the future consequences uncertain.